hey everybody and welcome to my channel welcome back if you're a returning viewer so if you guys would like to see how i installed this burgundy curly wig from you nice hair keep on watching because i really enjoyed this side part action it was eaten for sure so yeah you guys stay tuned First thing first, I'm putting this cap on and stretching it out and then I'm just going to fold it over because it was very long and yeah, I didn't feel like putting it all over my face and cutting out my eyes, all that. So I just fold it over, but yeah, guys, I am cutting around my ears with these shears that I got from Amazon, which they are very sharp, y'all. I almost cut myself throughout this install with these, but yeah, I'm taking my Red Ebon Wonder Lace Spray and I'm spraying that directly on my hairline and just using my finger to help smooth it out and get it placed where I want it to be placed. Now I'm going to blow dry this until it is completely dry on a cool high setting and I just glide it around from side to side so that it can dry all evenly and all at once and once that is done i'm going to be taking my ruby kisses cream foundation in the shade rd15 and this makeup brush and i am just smoothing all of that product into this cap i usually don't do this before i cut off the cap but i was like fuck it maybe this will make it help make it look more natural so i went ahead and did it this way and i can't really say i've seen a difference but this wig was laid either way so i mean <laughs> there's that but yeah now i'm taking these scissors these sharp scissors again like oh my gosh but i like how sharp they are like maybe this is what i need i just got to be careful y'all if y'all get these scissors please be careful or if you use sharp scissors be careful because i think you can tell how sharp these scissors are by the like the tips of them but anyways yeah i'm cutting off this cap and yeah just pretty smoothly boom it is all the way cut off but it wasn't laying how it was supposed to be laying so i'm taking my erica j glue and it's the watermelon kind and i y'all i like the way this smells and erica j she ships really really fast like i bought this like four days ago and it already came to me perfect in time for me to do this install for you guys but yeah i'm just using that glue a little bit of it to try to get the ends of this cap to lay flatter i need to do a new bald cap method because i'm over having to fix the ends of my cap like why can't it just lay all at once you guys anyways though now that that is done and i pretty much have that laid in and in place i'm going to be taking some more of that makeup and putting that on the edges of the cap so it can lay not lay but look more seamless and boom that's what it's looking like up close you guys the ends are struggling a bit but the cap was given pretty it was pretty bald i liked how it looked it was it was given so here is the wig this 99j 24 inch wig from unice hair and let me show you guys the actual lace it was indeed hd and i plucked it kind of over plucked it kind of over bleached it but that is besides the point now that this wig is on my head i am going to be taking a little piece of this hair where i'm going to be cutting around and cutting off so that this wig can lay flat and lay smoothly on my ear the way that it should and let me tell y'all I'm going to link these scissors down below because they're super, I already said they're sharp, but my point is <laughs> they really got the job done. Like I didn't have to like ex work extra hard to cut off my ear taps or cut anything while I was using these scissors. And yeah, I think you guys should use these. I'm using a Sephora alcohol and this paper towel to clean off my skin of all extra oils and makeups not makeups <laughs> makeup that i use from my cap off my skin so that the glue can really stick to my skin and stick to the lace without you know it interfering okay now it is time to apply this glue to our skin on our hairline woo -de -woo. and i really liked this glue one i like how it's a tube I like how to too because I don't have to like I know exactly how much is going to come out and how much I'm placing 
on my skin you know what i mean without too much or too little coming out like i was able to get out the perfect amount and yeah with that being said i'm taking my popsicle stick and i'm smoothing that thin layer of glue y'all y'all have to use a thin layer you don't have to use so much use a thin layer it's going to move a lot quicker and just more efficiently and also less messy you know but yeah after i did that one layer i blow dried it on cool on a cool high setting and i used five layers of this i'm showing you guys my second layer that i did here and yeah sometimes i like to dot it sometimes i just like to smooth it it depends on just how i'm feeling it <laughs> in the moment but yeah you guys i did five layers of this and this glue also dried super like clear like you you guys will see you guys can see how dry this glue i mean how clear this clue dried like tongue twister That is out of the way i'm pulling this wig forward onto this glue um yeah i pretty much know exactly where that glue was because one my lighting two i can just tell for real you really have to be paying attention to see where the glue is so you're not placing it too far below where the glue actually is or too far above you know you want to place it directly where that glue is so yeah i just like to take my fingers and kind of press everything through so that it can stick get it nice in place and once that's done i'm going to blow dry it and use this fine tooth comb to um further melt this glue into this lace so i'm taking this elastic band wrap that i got from amazon i'm going to link that down below too because yeah this is really fucking handy no lie like what because you if you install wigs a lot you know that they get dirty and you know you just don't want to wash them because that's being real extra and you know but yeah i'm glad that i found these um so i will definitely show you guys where exactly to get them from but now that that is done i wanted to cut a little bit of this lace off because it was in my peripheral and i did not need that i need to see what i was doing Now I'm taking my Kara Kara wax stick while this lace is melting. Just in the meantime, you know, in between time type shit. Like, <laughs> I just had to do this because I had the time to do it while I'm waiting. And I don't just like to sit there while this band is on. So I'm like, let me just be a perfectionist and get this lace really looking right. So I place that around the hairline. I'm taking my hot comb and I'm pressing the hair out around this hairline so it can look super clean, you know? To cut this lace off i'm taking those scissors again and i'm cutting right where that glue ends on it's basically cutting tabs out so that when i do take my razor as i am doing now you know i can get an even cut and focus on one piece at a time if that makes sense so yeah i'm just cutting this lace off kind of going in a zigzag motion but i'm really just kind of gliding it off this was a fresh razor i do tell you guys to use fresh razors or fresh scissors so that you know it can really be cut off smoothly and yeah like you know it just cuts off the lace smoothly when you have a fresh blade going on so yeah
since I kind of over plucked this hairline like the lace was kind of just sitting there so I pulled it back and I'm using those small scissors and cutting it so it can be closer so that the lace can lay closer to my hairline instead of just being extra lace there but I didn't want to do too much because when the lace is just sitting there it looks good because it'd be you know it'd be blended it'd be looking like scalp so it don't even really matter like that but I'm taking some more of that Erica J glue and I'm using a thin amount to lay this piece in the front because it wasn't laying how it was supposed to it was sticking up so i just flattened that out with the popsicle stick and then boom we're good to get this lace looking a little bit more blended i'm taking this fluffy brush that eunice hair actually sent me in the package that came with this wig so thanks y'all for that but yeah i'm taking some more of the rd15 cream foundation and buffing that into the lace and i like using a fluffy brush like this because it kind of just i don't know it doesn't cake up the lace it's kind of just buffing it out like making it you know i don't know how to explain it but i like to using the fluffy brush y'all should use a fluffy brush for that but yeah i'm taking some more of that ruby kisses not ruby kisses y'all oh my gosh ebon wonder lace spray and i'm spraying that on the lace and using my fingers to kind of get that in place where i want it to be and when that's done i'm going to apply my elastic band again and let that sit while i figure out how i want to style this hair i have half, half down would have been super cute but since the hairline once again was kind of overplucked it just wasn't going to turn out the way that i wanted it to but still me being me i'm still going to try to do a freaking um updo but it just wasn't coming out how i wanted it to so that's why i'm doing my baby hairs like this like that's why the hair is sitting like this because i was going to do this extra ass but that's neither here nor there After playing with the hair for a minute, I realized like a side part wouldn't be that bad. And you know, it's it's sad that sometimes I just be wanting to be lazy and not go through with the styles I want to do. But honestly, if the wig was plucked the way that I wanted to be plucked, I would have did what I had in mind. But the side part was still really cute and I wanted to make sure it was super flat and I was using a new product so it still came out super cute. So with this lace it wasn't it was a 13 by 4 it was not a 13 by 6 so I had to really make it a curved kind of C part part so that the side part can be deep the way that I like it because yeah I, if it's not a deep side part I really don't want it. But yeah, before I add any product to the hair, I just want to use my hot comb to train the hair into the direction that I want it to go with this side part. buffing some more makeup behind the baby hairs because since this wig was also kind of over bleached like the knots was white like this was colored hair so it already went through a bleaching process so with me over bleaching that was not a good idea so i was really trying to make sure that i was covering that up and i'm using some of this fantasia spritz i'm going to link that down below too that i got from amazon and i'm laying this lace once more so it can look really really flat and really really good and as you guys can see i didn't press out these baby hairs with the hot comb because i wanted them to give a fluffy feel this time so i kind of just let them do what they were doing and while it's laying flat i'm taking my hair in sections with my hot comb and my carrot carrot wax stick and pressing these hairs through because with the side part and curly hair I don't like when it's kind of just sitting there like I like it to look really pressed out and neat so like the hair is just not looking bulky you know what I mean so yeah I like to really hot comb and press through with each section not doing too many sections like the sections that I showed you guys are all the sections that I did and pulled out but yeah it really helped with the flatness of this wig and the way that it laid especially if I had in mind that I wanted to restyle it because I did have that in mind, so I wanted to make sure that it was really pressed out.
to get the top of his hair to lay even flatter and to kind of mold it in place i'm taking some more of that fantasia spray it's like a foaming spritz you guys will see link in bio but <laughs> yeah i'm using that with my hot comb and when i tell y'all like it really had this laying flat and it wasn't like a sticky like hard type of crunchy type flat like it was just looking really flawless but boom just popped that band off and it is giving scope it's giving scope but i'm using these scissors which yeah these scissors really did the job really did the job when it came to cutting off these baby hairs because i was able to like you know kind of glide it i don't really know how to explain it you guys see what i'm doing though and i got them pretty short i got them the perfect length because y'all know i'll be stressing about the length of my baby hairs and the way that they look so i really like the way that these came out even though the hairline was over plucked like i definitely finessed this and um yeah i really like how these baby hairs came out so I like to gradually cut my baby hair so that I'm not cutting it too long or too short. And that was really easy to do with these scissors since they were so sharp. Like, yeah, I'm going to keep popping these scissors up because <laughs> the scissors that I use don't be sharp like this. And I usually cut off my baby hairs with a razor and that kind of just makes it, I don't know how to explain it, but they looked really good using these scissors when I cut them off. So highly, highly, highly recommend. I'm taking my kiss half inch pencil flat iron and I'm curling these baby hairs upwards and I like to do it a couple of times so I can really get the curl that I'm looking for like that nice fluffy like whoop curl like which you guys will see with this last one here like it was boom it was hitting so yeah and I also curled my sideburns this time upwards because I'm like let me be different like I'm trying different products I'm doing different things like let me curl these baby hairs upwards this time so yeah I curled all of them upward so how i told y'all i was trying new things i'm using this nairobi foaming like styling foam like wrapping foam and yeah like because when i be trying to find new products i go to tiktok tiktok is google at this point so i had seen somebody list this so i said bet i'm gonna get this because i've been wanting to use foam and the way that she used it looked really really good so i'm like yeah let me go ahead and try this and when i tell y'all i'm not i probably won't be going back unless i feel like it you know what i'm saying because this really made the baby hairs look super fluffy and they still had a good hold to it and it did not lift the lace so yeah you guys i really enjoyed this foam um, I used a little bit of some ORS holding gel on the ends, not the ends, but like, you know, where the hair is behind the baby hair so that it can kind of glide into each other without it just looking like mushed up. If that made sense, I wanted to look smoother. So I added a little bit of that, but yeah, you guys, these baby hairs look really, really good. Like they look exactly how I wanted them to. And I really enjoyed that. Besides the fact, like I wasn't able to like swoop it into the side part like you know how the deep side parts be i kind of had to add a little curl at the end so it can kind of distract the fact that this hairline was overplugged and i wasn't able to do you know like the swooped baby hairs you guys know you guys know because that's what i usually do with my side parts So I wish I would have added some more hair to my sideburns, like pulled more hair from the hairline and made it into the sideburn because usually they be looking the way that I want them to. But I found myself working on this sideburn a little too much. And I'm like, what is it? Like, why isn't this hitting the way I want it to? But I ended up just leaving it alone. And then I realized like once I was done and once the video was over, like, oh, okay. With the left side, which is the left side, that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> the sideburn was kind of hitting more natural. Like it was shorter, one and two. I just had more hair, if that makes sense. Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but it wasn't sitting as low as the one on the right. Okay, that's what I'm basically trying to say. It wasn't sitting as low. Like it was sitting in the perfect spot, perfect position so yeah you guys it was a little bit uneven but that's only because i over plucked the right side which i don't know what it is about the right side but when i be plucking the right side i'll be going crazy like girl calm down like it's really narrow that deep but anyways you guys i have this elastic band on from the company that we are sponsoring today well i'm sponsoring <laughs> but you know we're doing this together so um yeah i'm using some water out of this misting type water bottle and i'm getting this hair all the way wet i was contemplating if i wanted to 
wet this hair all the way but since the hair was super puffy in the front i was like might as well so i wet this hair completely and i'm using a comb to kind of comb these curls through and out before i add product to them For these curls today, I'm going to be taking Auntie Jackie's Curl Perfecting Pudding <laughs> and using a little bit. I didn't want to use go too crazy and kind of weigh down the hair because I liked the texture of this hair and I didn't want to manipulate it too much. So I used a decent amount, not too much. I'm using this wig brush and I'm scrunching these curls when I get done brushing them all the way out. And yeah, that's kind of how I get the curl to hold and look good. So yeah that's what i'm doing here all throughout the hair lastly i'm taking this small um makeup brush and i it's really really tiny like it's super tiny and i like how tiny it is because i don't have to like i don't know how to explain it but y'all it's just good how tiny it is okay i'm using ruby kisses cream foundation in the shade rd09 to get the parts look really clean and seamless really natural and i like to smooth that out with my finger so that it can you know it won't just be sitting there but yeah this is a really fluffy tiny brush so it was gliding through pretty effortlessly and this is the end of the tutorial you guys this is the finished look it came out really good thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this and make sure to check the description box for all the information on this hair this is their 26 inch 99 j curly wave wig so yeah you guys I will see you guys in my next one.